Hi everybody, it's Deb from D and D Art Gallery. Happy Monday to everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. Today I have a little eight by eight uh, canvas that I'm going to try a bloom technique on. I did not take the course. I've watched several artists do it. As a matter of fact, yesterday I watched an artist do it, and I'm going to give a shout out to Paul Start Art. It's S T A R T A R T, and he tried the bloom technique with just using paints and Floetrol and he got the recipe from uh, Trish at Naptime Creations so I'd like to give a shout out to her too. Thought I'd give it a try. It's a little bit simpler um, recipe so um, as you can see I've put down this is the base coat or the pillow paint and I'm using I'll go over my paints first and then I'll tell you the recipe. All my paints today are the Amsterdam. So my pillow paint, I am using um, Nickel Titan Yellow, it's called. And then for the, um, the cell activator, I'm using um, Amsterdam Titanium White. And then for my colors, I'm using Amsterdam permanent red violet light and the greenish blue and a permanent blue violet really pretty color I love this color and the last one is the um, turquoise blue so the recipe for the the pillow or the base coat is um, one part paint to three parts Floetrol. And then for the colors, it's two ounces of Floetrol to five milliliters of paint. And I will just show you the consistency of that. And I tried to mix it exactly to recipe. And then for the topper, I'm using one teaspoon of the titanium Amsterdam white to two and a quarter teaspoons of Floetrol. And I'll show you that. Okay, so let's get started. See if I get any of the bloom effects with this. Um, Paul Start, start Art. If you could get a chance to watch his channel, his the bloom he did is just beautiful. It, it turned out excellent, so it's worth checking that out. I'll show, also go to um, Trish at Naptime Creations. Um, she's done several of them, I believe. I have watched some of hers with this recipe. Okay, and I'll put the topper on. No silicone is used in this, by the way. Okay, and at first I'm just gonna blow it out myself and you blow down and out. I will let that sit there a minute and while it sits there I am going to add a little bit more of the the pillow paint around this so when I go to tip it 
It helps it tip a little better. And I think that when Miss uh, Paul did his video, it was mentioned that you could use any color you wanted for your your base coat or your pillow. Okay, I'm just going to try some tipping now. This is what really you need. You need patience for this part of the bloom technique is to get the paint to move. And I actually don't mind having negative space at all because I'm going to be um, using my little air compressor when I'm done tipping here to move the pan around a little more. I know there's a lot, a lot of different recipes out there for this technique, which is good. It's always fun to try different recipes and just find one that really works for you. And I'll try and get it down a little further to this corner now. See if I have any luck with that. And the further that you can tip your paint to get it thinner, I think the more um, you're going to see the cells pop up and hopefully some lacing. That's the one part I have had trouble with is, is getting lacing with my blooms. Okay, I'm going to try and, um, use my air compressor now and see what I can do with this. I do love the colors so far. Very pretty. And pardon the loudness of this.
I do like using the air compressor because I have really good control over where this paint is going. I'm going to work on this corner a little bit here. to see if I can tip this down a little bit this way. I don't think my paint is going to move anymore, but no, I'm going to blow on that edge a little bit there too. Okay. I just wanted to make it so this the the line was not just so perfect. I wanted it kind of bumpy looking like it like it is now. And I'm going to work in this area a little bit. Okay, just going to take a look at it here a minute. Think of this, the colors are just beautiful in this. Just a few more places here.
Okay. I really like this. Again, I didn't get any of the lacing necessarily, but I, I well, a little bit right in here. I'll get, you, I'll get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. I'll show you the areas I really like. Again, this is an 8 by 8 canvas, and I did a bloom technique using just uh, Amsterdam paints in Floetrol. This is the upper left-hand corner. Very pretty in there. A lot of really nice areas here on this painting. Purple is beautiful. That's the lower left hand corner. A little bit of lacing in here. And I guess I could get even more if I would stretch that out, but I didn't want to stretch it anymore. Beautiful in here. This is this is probably the my favorite part of the whole painting is right in here that yellow and that purple. And this is the lower right hand corner in here. And here's some more lacing. I was able to get some. So it wasn't a total failure on that part. And here's the upper right hand corner. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure and share it. Subscribe if you haven't. Please ring the bell and choose all. And I've been having some trouble with, um, um, could you please, even if you have subscribed, um, YouTube has been having some issues, I understand. So um, make sure that you do ring the bell and choose all. You may want to do it again just to make sure that you are subbed to me and that you'll get all my notifications when I post new videos. Thank you so much. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.